Hello, um, thank you for joining uh, me on this video. My name is Shola Abulu. I'm the principal consultant of Shola Abulu and Associates. We are a strategy and communications training and consulting firm. Um, we help organizations and businesses achieve their objectives through the strategic use of communication, organizational effectiveness and reputation risk management. Um, I am a communication strategist by profession. Um, I have about 30 plus years of experience working in the private sector, also doing some work in the public sector. Um, worked for a multinational oil firm for over 20, um, over 20 years um, in Nigeria, three years in Holland and a year in the UK. Um, so very strong global experience working on issues around stakeholder management and, and that sort of thing. Understanding how to manage relationships with um, internal and external stakeholders and how to use communications as a proactive and you know leverage as an influencing tool on an ethical basis and helping it to make um, organizations work the way that they're intended, businesses to deliver as, as required, relationships to be managed in fulfillment of the mission. And yeah, just making things work the way they are, um, they should be, they should. And providing that bridge between people, processes, and facilities, if you know what um, I mean, to making, just making sure things go on. I like to describe communication as the glue, the corporate glue around which every effective organization or endeavor works. If you see anything that is working really well, whether it's a state, it's, um, it's an institution, it, you can't have efficiency without good communication. You know, it's, it's just not possible. It's, it has to be part of the mix. So that's essentially what um, my role is about. And um, in this videos, I'm going to be doing a teaser for our courses, which we are launching um, starting 2024. We're actually launching the first one, which is the CPD SO accredited course, um, strategic communication. And there's a video about that. The first session will run on the 30th of November, 2023. If you haven't seen that and you'd like to join that session, please check out that video. Uh, in the caption of this, wherever it is you're watching this, you will find details of how to register interest for these courses. So this course, which is the third course in our suite of courses, um, is um, about public sector policy and political communications. Now, the reason why I decided to set up this course, I've done some work pro bono for people in the public sector, and um, I've also worked in the public sector in and out, and I've also worked in an industry that related a lot with the public sector. So I really have a strong sense of the uniqueness of the public sector, also of policies and, and, and politics, and have been involved in political communication um, campaigns and initiatives for some time. So um, my uh, this course is very much going to be based on what I have seen and observed. I have a first degree in international relations, which is an arm of political science. I'm a political science geek. You know, I follow crises everywhere in the world. I follow how government and how state leads. I, I follow public policy holders, policy holders. I watch how they communicate. And I've seen that there is a big gap in terms of how we communicate, I, I see that these the institutions that are lagging in terms of understanding how communications is supposed to be done in the 21st century and how to um, respond to this world in which we find ourselves, where there are various sources of information and institutions like government have become, the distrust against government has become very high. It, it, it is now, there's a higher need for government to begin to engage in a way that is audience-centric citizen-centric, and that is aware of the context in which, uh, um, of how the information and communication landscape has changed. So the, really, this is what this um, course is going to be about. And it's going to be very practical. We're not just going to be talking about principles or talking things that are idealistic or unach unachievable. We're going to be discussing real life brick and mortar stories and case studies about how this can be done. And also x-raying why certain things are not working the way they should. You know, so anyways, and I, I'm looking forward to when we can run this first cohort, we will be gathering um, interest. So once we have um, a, a cohort that um, we can go ahead with, our minimum is always 15, then we will have our first run online. And if we have um, an institutional request or a group request that requires us to come per person in person within Nigeria, that's also fine as well. If it happens to be outside of Nigeria, well, yeah, but then let's have that conversation. But let us know what your needs are. Outside Nigeria, I would always say very quick to do a virtual. We can get that done. Any other bespoke requests, um, you can also contact us by training at 
shola.abulaassociates.com. You can see our contact details below. So the aim of this course is to enable public sector leaders, professionals, and influencers to understand how to communicate effectively in the world where access to diverse content and voices voices have become unprecedented and distrust of institutions and political actors is significantly high. Who should attend? Anyone with responsibility for leadership, organizational communication or relationship management in politics, the public sector, policy institutions, and agencies. This includes sector and institutional leaders, public office holders, communication practitioners, spokespersons, media spokespersons, public spokespersons, and consultants. So if you're consulting in any of these sectors also, I think you would it would be good to have you in the room. I think you would benefit tremendously from being on this program. And what will you expect? I've talked about that. We will exposure to the concept of citizen-centric communication. We will compare, we'll do an analysis of traditional and modern day public sector communications. What works best? What are the pros and the cons? We'll add it to be very interactive. So we'll listen to people in the room and then we'll you know, just look at it and see, let the results speak for themselves. Analyze real case studies. We will give um, provide an opportunity to provide a fit for purpose public sector communication philosophy and ideas and why it is important to do so. We'll talk about the need to be an advo um, to be an assertive professional and how you can <clears throat> how you can navigate the complexity even in terms of getting your um, public sector principals and organizations to understand what they need to do to get the kind of results that they would like to have. Um, the course objective is to make sure that anyone that attends this course is at the end of the course able to apply the principles of effective public sector political and policy communication in a modern digital and social media active population. One mistake that I find that is very, very common is people communicating as though we're still in the 19th century. No, we are not. You know what? If people, the audience is not that way. I mean, I see TikToks of people in farms. The world is just not the same. <laughs> so no matter how much you like to reminisce about, oh, the good old days, sorry, the ship has sailed. People now have access to information on their smartphones, WhatsApp chats. People can get videos and send. So you just can't get away saying things that people can fact check you and find out that is not true. So I would. This is one course that I am really hoping that the public sector will pick up on, and I am open to. I mean, I'm throwing this out there. Any public sector institution that would want us to come and do this training, we will do whatever we can, we'll be very happy to take this on because this is something I am very passionate about. I would be very happy to be given the opportunity to do this. So um, so then we need to understand how the media and the social media landscape is changing. And I'll be, I'm looking forward to these sessions. Ideally, this public sector course really should be done in two days. I would recommend we can do it in two days, perhaps even three, but, it, but that will only be at request. But the online one, we can run it in a day. But there is so much, you can see I have about six objectives there, which I didn't have for some of the others, because there's so much we have to get into. Because again, we thought it's about public sector, policy and political communication. So again, if I get a bespoke request from public sector, in the course session, we can focus more on public sector. If you're a policy organization, we can focus more. But the reason why I put all the three together is because I find out that there are intersections. So if you are doing politi and political communication, you also have to work with the public sector. So you don't want to say something that is going to annoy people in the public sector. If you're also a policymaker and you need to communicate about something, you also you also have to think about the political implications as well as the public sector intersections and the interfaces. How do you manage that? So that's why we have this all together so that you, and that's the thing about communications. Communication doesn't happen in a vacuum. You don't pretend as if you're in an echo chamber. You have to remember that even though I'm not talking to someone, other people may be listening. And that's the difference between the world that we're in right now. So the reaction, you don't think about the reaction just to the audience you're saying. So long as you're you are pulling it out there now in today's world, there'll be different opinions. So you have to stress test your messaging to make sure that it is not only acceptable to the people that you know will receive it, but also to those people that you were not necessarily speaking to, but will hear what you're saying and will form an opinion and will probably be angered and annoyed and take negative action against you because of what you have said. These are all the things that we're going to talk about. And we would like to have people who are in that space or desire to be in that space in the room so that we can have a very robust conversation. I'm really looking forward to this session. I'm hoping we can run one, at least one, two, three, if not more um, next year, the year 2024. So in the captions, just go in and let me know. Um, get in touch with us, training at um, sholaabuluassociates.com and we will get back to you. You'll also see other links there where you can register interest for this and other courses. Thank you very much.